Have you always wanted to find a plant that will have these beautiful leaves and it doesn't even need to bloom because just by the way it is, it's already beautiful? Well, these are marantas that you should definitely have at least one. I have three here and, and in this video I want to show you uh, the varieties I have, their names and a little bit of care tips because I must say if you have the right conditions for them these plants are quite low maintenance plants however if you don't have the right conditions for them basically if you don't have the light humidity that they need then it can be a little bit complicated to grow them. But hey, I'm Anna, welcome to this channel. On this channel, we're talking about everything related to houseplants, how to grow them, propagate, save, etc. And let's talk about marantas. So I want to show you this one. Have you seen such a beautiful plant? It's actually blooming. Some flowers are already wilted and this plant create also a little bit of mess because the flowers are tiny white when they get wilted they basically get dry and then fall off and you can notice some kind of mess under your plant but look at this now is the time of the day when actually the leaves spread up to have this kind of as much light as possible but in the evening they go up so this is the plant that will make you feel that you're not alone at home because when the leaves move sometimes they even make sound and by the way i had a huge monstera this variety a couple of uh, years ago i believe one and a half years ago it died with me because to be honest we had an air conditioner very close to it and i knew that it's gonna be cold for this plant it died immediately like after the next uh, basically after one day the next day it was already wilted i tried to take some cuttings but i couldn't save any of it in one day just because of this cold current on it it was completely gone very sad story but at that time it was so big and it was hanging from my very tall uh, pot video and at that time i tried to have a short video to show you the movement of it and of course it will be sped up but my husband made the, this kind of time lapse of that uh, maranta and i will put it somewhere here on the screen for you to see if you would like to see how fast it moves it will be speeded up of course but um sometimes when they move they make this sound <laughs> <laughs> that was the right one but let's talk about this variety so this is well they call it silver band but i believe if i'm not mistaken this is maranta leconera this is the the hardest uh, name to be pronounced masangiana so i will put the names also on the screen if i'm mistaken please let me know because i really tried to find uh, the real names, uh, Latin names, their biological names. So this plant is Silver Bend and it has these two shades of greens. This is absolutely amazing. And here I have, I believe, three cuttings. I bought it also from my most favorite garden center here in my area. It's called Der Holender. And to be honest, the moment I go there, I just go with intention to buy one plant, but I end up buying maybe six, seven, eight plants, or I just go to buy one bag of soil and I cannot just resist because every single time they receive so many new varieties and every single time the quality is just unbelievably good. They have never any pests, any disease on their uh, plants and they come in such great shape and quality. That's just amazing. They do a great job. I absolutely love that store. All right, so let me put this one here. And now let's talk about this one. This is the most common one, I believe, because I think that uh, even like in local stores, even if in your groceries or some local very tiny stores, if you have a Maranta, it will definitely be this one. Uh, it's the most spread one, but it is an amazing, beautiful plant because just look at the colors. It's green, another green, light in the middle and red stripes on it. This is the beautiful one and this doesn't even need to bloom, right? You just have this kind of beautiful leaves and that's it. Well, this is called Red Maranta and again, this weird name of Maranta... Um, Corneira, sorry for mispronouncing it, and this is Erythronura, I believe. So again, I tried to find a biological name. If I'm mistaken, please write in the comment, and sorry for my pronunciation. I think 
from so many plants uh, and the names and sometimes it's very hard to pronounce also Hoya's names but this is one of them I can never pronounce it the right way then the third one that I have is this absolutely beautiful one this is again same Maranta, Lucanora, whatever and Herchviana this is variegated one this is also called by the way Beauty King that was uh, actually on the pot and this grows a little bit taller, but when it's a little bit um, maybe taller, then it will start to trail and will be again the same way, like spreading, trailing, just like these ones. And if you grow these ones um, in a taller pot, then you kind of, you will see this kind of um, hanging, trailing, cascading, beautiful leaves. Well, now let's talk about care. I have them for a couple of months already. I haven't repotted. If you have seen my previous videos, I usually say, when will you buy plants, bring them home and repot them? Because normally plants are not in the right soil that they like. They're coming from greenhouses and they have kind of a potting mix for that period of uh, the plant life. But then when we get them, we try to repot them and then we choose the right soil for them and repot also in another type of pot that will be most probably not the nursery brown or black ugly pots but there will be beautiful ones uh, as you may see here i can actually take them out and show you these ones i haven't repotted they are still in their nursery pots it's not so easy to take this one out let me see from this side yeah and if you're interested in the prices, by the way, I can say that this one is also Fiesta. So this has also labeled Fiesta on it. But I bought this plant for $9.99 only. And it was maybe just a little bit shorter. So I don't have this one for a very long time, but I really liked it. And I really wanted to have it because the variegation on it is just amazing. So I haven't repotted any of them. And they are just sitting in their pots. By the way, I like to also label my uh, plants because, um, well, with these marantas it's easy, but for example, if you have Hoyas, uh, the leaves look so similar to each other that in any case, even if they don't look similar, but it's always a good idea to have labels with their correct names. And here I use this kind of white plastic labels and, and I use uh, the pen that's non-erasable, so this will stick in there, the names. Uh, if you will be interested to have the same i bought this like 1000 of this for 17 dollars and if you would be interested to buy exactly these ones i will have the link in the description of the video but if not you can choose any there are so many i don't know, even wooden sticks if you would like to but use anything that you will be able to write the names use as a label and this will be so helpful when your collection grows now this one this is again Maranta Red, as they call it, and this one, let's see the price, is again $9.99. Unfortunately, all uh, these kind of Marantas are labeled just as Maranta. Sometimes this one is also Fascinator, but yeah, they have so many different names. I don't know which one is the correct one because I don't believe there are a lot of varieties of Maranta, especially with the similar leaves. So I believe it's just the same. It has several names that people gave them and now this one this one is also oh yeah this is also 9.99 it's different i uh i bought them at different times but yeah the price is the same so i wouldn't say it's very expensive plants to be honest but definitely in your collection you need it because of the colors of the leaves yeah these are the most vibrant leaves i would say so the most um, common problem with these plants is dry, crispy tips of the leaves. I don't have them now, maybe on one or two. Let me maybe find one. I think this one had it. Was it this one? Uh, this is one of the crispy leaves. And this one also is a little bit crispy here. Well, the reason for this, for basically crispy edges, crispy tips of the leaves can be the low air humidity. The way you can fix it easy is just to have a humidifier. I don't believe you really need to spray this plant every day, a couple of times per day, because it's very time consuming. Just increase your humidity in the room when they grow a little bit and this should fix the problem. 
the most important although is the light because they don't like to grow in shade because then this patterns variegation may be gone and even the colors may be a little bit um, not so vibrant not so lush and you know uh, full I would say but if you grow them under direct sunlight they can get burnt easily so you need to find a way where it's kind of semi shade like bright non indirect light so not too much into shade I think you can just uh, try and test it where it grows better and you will definitely feel if the light is uh, enough for them they start to bloom they bloom non-stop so this one had a couple of flowers but then it stopped this one hasn't bloomed yet and this one was in blooms when I bought them and it continues to bloom for a couple of months already that's it. I haven't repotted again. And um, as for watering, I try to keep them slightly moist all the time because I noticed that when the, the soil is very dry, the leaves can kind of be a little bit droopy and I don't want to risk, you know, to get dry leaves just because of not watering in the right time. So I try to keep them always a little bit uh, moist, but not really overwatered. So try to avoid that as well. So I'm not really sure when I will repot them, to be honest, because the soil mix that I like, and maybe, you know, from my older um, previous videos, I like that soil, I grow so many monsters, philodendrons and hoyas in it. It's an amazing, very chunky, very light soil. And I believe that this will fit also these flowers, this, uh, these plants, these marantas, but I don't want to repot in that soil yet because we're moving into summer and I have several trips planned and uh, my friend Jefferson, Annette, sometimes I ask someone else as well, when they come to water, they, I ask them to come to water at least once a week and I believe for these plants once a week may not be enough and um, in this case they may suffer a little bit and I used to also use these watering bulbs, it's basically plastic bulb again I have a video about them I can uh, put it somewhere here on the screen if you would like to see you can when you go on holiday on a trip on a short trip so not on a month this kind of uh, watering bulbs can be a solution but your soil for that needs to be a little bit thicker than this chunky aeroid mixes or hoya mixes or anthurium mixes so in that case it will not work because the water goes through those watering bulbs immediately so in one day so this will not um, help you in that case so i'm still hesitating in that case uh, i'm still waiting and they're growing perfectly fine so i don't want to repot them now and i don't want to disturb them so that's it maybe when they grow a little bit i will already make cuttings and propagate them because i always want to have plan b of the plants like kind of a backup of the plants that I have, I want, I like, because what if happens to one of the plants, then you have another one. I don't know if it's only me or if you like the same as well. But that's it. If you have any comments or questions, please write them down in the comments. Let's discuss it, share your experience. And of course, if you like, subscribe and share the video with your friends, because it really helps to reach more people who are into plants, who like to grow them. And we grow this beautiful community together with you. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Stay passionate about plants.